So it's official. Mike McDaniel and Richard Hightower are leaving the 49ers. McDaniel to Miami and Hightower to the Bears. Look, wish them all the best of luck in the future, except for when they play the 49ers. So first off, I want to talk about Richard Hightower, who is now going to be the Chicago Bears special teams coach. Look, seems like a very nice guy. And again, I wish him luck. But with the 49ers, we were not very good on special teams. Not only this season where multiple times throughout streams I was complaining about the special teams play, but take a look at some of these stats. In the last five years, the five years that he's been with the 49ers, we've ranked bottom six in kick return average four out of five times. Not good. Not only that, but against kickoffs, we've ranked in the bottom 10 three out of five times an average kickoff returns against us. So we don't really defend kickoffs that well, and we don't get a bunch of yards from kickoffs. And here's the thing with the 49ers compared to other teams. We actually have a lot more kicks that are returned compared to other teams. The Denver Broncos, for example, had maybe like one kick on average, one kick per game returned, whereas we're closer to three. So if we're giving up a bunch of yards, that's not good. And we saw that multiple times, at least in 2021. And as the stats show through the last five years. So who are we going to look to replace them? Well, there are three different candidates that I am looking at. Number one is a guy who might not necessarily be available, but if he does become available, I think we really should pounce on him. That is Darren Rizzi, the special teams coordinator for the New Orleans Saints. Um, he's been there for about the last 10 years or so. And according to statistics, their special teams have ranked in the top half of the NFL every single year, a number of times in the top five. So something that could be a huge elevation to the team game for the 49ers would be solid, consistent special teams play. Rizzi could be a very good option. Next guy is going to be Rich Basaccia, the interim head coach from the Raiders who was let go and replaced by Josh McDaniels. This is a guy that the players love him. Again, his teams statistically have done very well on special teams and a guy that you just would love to have on your coaching staff. Last but not least, Joe Judge, who was just fired as the head coach of the New York Giants, someone who came from the Bill Belichick um, coaching tree. So you know that he's going to be very up to date and very down with them. Um, all the different like fundamentals of special teams. That's going to be something that Belichick would always stress. And I think Belichick assistants tend to go on and struggle very much as head coaches, but in their assistant positions that they are known for, um, I think they do very, very well. So that could be another option. And those are the three guys I'm looking at to replace Richard Hightower as special teams coordinator. All righty, now let's talk about Mike McDaniel and the impact him leaving for the Miami Dolphins will have on the 49ers. Well, on the positive side, we are actually going to be receiving two third round compensatory picks because Mike McDaniel is actually biracial. His father is African American. So that's actually a huge benefit for the 49ers because we actually traded away um, as part of the Trey Lance trade. We traded away a third round compensatory pick that we got from Robert. Sala. So we're actually going to get that back essentially. We will also receive a third round compensatory pick next year and we're actually going to have another one as well because Martin Mayhew who was in the 49ers front office last year was hired by the Washington Commanders as their general manager. Wow that was a whole lot of talk about compensatory picks but hey they're third round picks so it helps us out. I'm stoked on it. Now, here are some of the negatives that I'm going to look at, though, which is a bit of a bummer, is the fact that he might poach some of the coaches that we have here. The one guy who I'm most concerned about poaching would be Rich Scangarello, who is our quarterback's coach, who could ultimately be his offensive coordinator in Miami. So what I'm really hoping is that we will be um, very ahead of the game, and I'd like to think that we could maybe promote Scangarello to the offensive coordinator position. I 
would really recommend that Lynch and Shanahan do that so we can maintain and keep Scangarello. And we also, of course, added Anthony Lynn as the assistant head coach. That's something that I think that we should do sooner rather than later. But yeah, those are some very interesting names of guys who we could potentially lose to Mike McDaniel as he looks to fill out his coaching staff. Overall, you know, it's definitely a bummer to lose a coach like him, but I am really happy with how we were able to handle the situation in terms of bringing in a guy like Anthony Lynn who has a ton of experience coaching offenses, you know, being a leader of men, and I'm looking forward to getting to know him a little bit better. And I think we, if we can keep Rich Scangarello, I think our the knowledge that we have on offense is just immense when you obviously include a guy like Kyle Shanahan, who is our de facto offensive coordinator. Um, so overall, I'm really happy with how everything's gone so far. We get the third round picks. Going to be interesting to see how we use those. I'm going to have a mock offseason coming out within the next couple of days and now I'm going to add in that extra third round pick but um, you know and this could maybe there are implications now because we know that McDaniel and Jimmy Garoppolo are very very close and although Miami does have two at Vailoa could they potentially look to trade for Jimmy G to have that veteran quarterback we'll wait and see it's going to be a good time excited to find out and it's crazy we are just about a week into the off season and there's a lot to talk about already so you know guys i'm going to leave it there but there's two things that i'm always going to say the butt counts and i'm going to catch y'all on the flip side